And here in Washington, a bill to ban guns defined as assault weapons in Washington continues making progress in the legislature. In our commitment to bring you more to every story, Krem2 asked lawmakers representing Spokane why they support this policy. Krem2's Amanda Rowley shares their responses. This week, House Bill 1240 passed out of a Senate committee. It already passed the House, which makes this the farthest a bill like this has ever gone. Representative Marcus Riccelli, who represents the Spokane area, was among the House majority that voted in favor of the bill. He calls the assault weapons ban a public health issue, and he believes his vote matches the wishes of his constituents. So I think this is something that will help us hopefully move past some of these horrific tragedies that are happening throughout our country and, and, and in our own state. What do you say to those who believe that this ban only impacts law-abiding gun owners? We need to curb gun violence. We need to cur curb mass shootings. And um, I don't think this gets in the way of folks who are looking to protect themselves, who are looking to hunt, uh, who are looking to, uh, you know, if you're a law-abiding uh, citizen. Uh, I think that all those rights that are af afforded in the Constitution are respected. State Senator Mike Patton from Spokane Valley sits on the Senate committee that passed the bill. He doesn't support the ban because he believes the guns themselves aren't the issue. If it could stop uh, some of the violence uh, that are caused by people who use guns, not by the guns themselves, uh, I, I would support it, but I don't believe it will help uh, do that, and uh, in fact, I think it, it punishes law-abiding uh, gun owners. Senate Majority Leader Andy Billig of Spokane has not said outright if he supports the bill, but earlier this month he told media there is wide support for this ban by Washington residents and expects it will pass. House Bill 1240 is now headed to the Senate floor for a vote, barring any new amendments. Keep in mind, the cutoff for Senate to pass the bill is 5 p.m. on Wednesday, April 12th. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.